Hello everyone. Today I'd like to go over a new extension that the Trimble Civil Engineering and Construction Division recently released, the Trimble Site Contractor extension. This extension allows contractors the ability to design in 3D using SketchUp, export their 3D designs into SCS 900 to lay it out in the field, and then export into GCS 900 to excavate or construct the 3D design. Let's start off by downloading the extension through the extension warehouse in the, in the SketchUp browser. So we can go ahead and search Trimble Site Contractor. There it is. Go ahead and select install. The extension has been successfully installed. Now that the extension is installed, one thing I like to do is go into View, then Toolbars. And click this Trimble Site Contractor extension. I'm going to actually drag it up into my toolbar window so it's easier to access. Before we start modeling, there's one thing that I want to bring attention to, and that's what template you're using in SketchUp. What I mean by template is if I go into Windows, Preferences, Template, we can be working in feet and inches, meters, millimeters, feet, and so forth. And one thing to take note of is you need to select a template that your overall project is in. So if you're working in meters, select meters. If you're working in, in feet, does feet and inches work? Or there is just a standard feet. But in this example, I'm going to use the feet and inches template. Another thing I recommend is modeling off of the axis here. It's not necessary, but I think it just makes it a little bit easier. And I'm going to get going modeling a simple house foundation, just as an example. And for those of you who have never used SketchUp or are new to SketchUp, there's tons of good information on SketchUp's website of all tips and tricks and little sneak features because SketchUp can be a little difficult at first to get used to but as soon as you figure it out you can do things really quickly and be really efficient. So I highly recommend checking out the SketchUp website at www.sketchup.com and I'm just about done with my foundation and another really important thing that everyone needs to know is in this enclosed model that I just finished, we need to delete this top face because it can't be enclosed. And that's, that's really crucial, otherwise it will not come into SCS 900 nicely. Now that we've finished modeling our house foundation and we're ready to export, we can go ahead and press the Trimble Site Contractor extension. And if you haven't dragged it up into this toolbar, you can find it under the Extensions tab, and there it is right there. Now to start off, we're going to press the set button and you can see we have two little diamonds representing control points and this blue diamond is a control point. It's actually a 3D point so it associates a northing, an easting, and an elevation and will be labeled control point 1 in SCS 900 and this yellow one is a 2D control point with a northing and an easting and is labeled control point 2 in SCS 900. And as you can see, the blue one defaulted right to the axis, so that's why I recommend modeling off of the axis. It just makes it a little bit easier. But now we have the ability to place the, these control points wherever we'd like by just clicking in the area that we'd like. And say I place this blue control point or this yellow control point and I'm not happy with it and I want to move it. Rather than having to replace the blue one, if I press the control key, it's going to toggle back to this placer functionality and I can then place it in the location I'd like. So now that our control points are in, in the place I'd like them to be, uh, we're going to go up to this extension window and scroll down to the next step, this project settings. I'm going to give my job a name, I'm going to name it house, and the design name, I'm going to name it foundation, and then scrolling down to the export screen we have two options here we have tcc and file the tcc stands for trimble connect community and if you have a valid tcc account 
If you click that button, you'll be able to select your TCC folder and then those files will automatically be pushed to your Trimble handheld devices. If you don't, uh, you can select this file button and select whatever folder you'd like to export it to. So we're gonna select just the desktop and it exported successfully. Let's go ahead now and minimize SketchUp and open up that folder we just exported. You can see here, it's on my desktop titled house. We open that up and we have a DXF file, which is the line work we created. The CSV file has the two control points that we placed. The site XML uh, gives the proper settings for the site in SCS 900. And one side note on that site XML file, if you're in a region of the world where you use a south azimuth in SCS 900, I want you to go ahead and click and delete this. And when you open SCS 900, you'll be required to set the site settings, but and then you'll be able to, to set the south azimuth. But for everyone else, don't worry about that. Uh, then if we go into the designs folder, we have our design foundation that we named. We have a surface of the design we created and also the line work again. This concludes the overview of the Trimble Site Contractor SketchUp extension. Be on the lookout for some additional videos in the future of taking a design and placing it in the field with SCS 900 and then exporting that into GCS 900 to construct. Until then, feel free to check out SketchUp.com to learn some new modeling techniques and feel free to drop us a message either through the link in our YouTube page or our Trimble Civil Engineering and Construction Facebook page.